All right, guys. So in this video, I want to talk about why mental training online is not working. Why what you're learning is just plain not worth doing. Because most people that are training and teaching the mental aspects of the game online are really missing three key points. And they're really going in three wrong directions. And what I want to do is explain what those are. And I want to explain the solution to those three issues so that when you're looking for the right mental system and when you're looking for the right way to approach the mental game and your performance, you can figure that out right away. Okay, so first of all, the first thing that most like mental coaches, the mistakes that most of them are making is that they're focusing on the conscious mind only. And what does this mean? Well, it means that they're giving advice and they're giving all these good techniques but the problem is, is that when you're playing and when you're in the middle of a game, you're not going to be consciously thinking about these things. When you're in the middle of a shift, do you have the ability to think, what is my breathing like? Or what is, what am I thinking? Like, what words am I thinking in my head right now? You don't have time to be conscious of this. And the problem is, is that these techniques they're teaching you are conscious things. They're things that you just do on a surface level and that's it. And the way to solve this problem is that you need to take a focus on the identity and the identity is the subconscious mind. It's the focus on the deep rooted beliefs and the way that your mind works on a deep level. And that's the only way that you're going to be able to actually get performance and the way that you're going to improve performance through mental training. So you need to, instead of focusing on just the conscious mind and the basic ideas of be more confident, focus on positive thinking, we actually need to get our identity to be positive. We need our subconscious mind and our identity to actually have these things wired in. You have to wire these into our personality. Number two, concepts versus system or systems. So the issue is, is that when most people are teaching these concepts online, and I will admit that my the, some of the things that I put on Instagram are more concept based. But the thing is, is that a lot of people, even with their systems that they're teaching, it's not much of a connected system. It's basically just a bunch of concepts that they chunked all together. And then it's just pieces of advice. It's, um, for example, it's just adding in awareness and adding meditation and adding a couple other things and just doing them in very basic chunks. And those are, they're going to be good things. There are things that are going to help your game, but they're not things that are going to transform your game. And you want to be transforming your game. And that's why you need to focus on actual systems. And the system is step by step taking you through and giving you an entire way of operating, a way of transforming the way your whole mind operates. So instead of giving you one little piece of advice and just trying to get you to function on that, the whole point of a system, and this is what you need to do, is you need to have the step by step by step so that it can cycle through. You need your performance to be able to circulate. And that comes from being able to actually identify the problem. And then it's being able to have a technique and an actual whole concept about not just one piece, but actually being able to say, okay, so I have this first step. Boom, I knocked that out of the way. And now I understand exactly where the issue is. Two, and then two, you have to be able to actually identify how to unwire that. Three, okay, what do I want to actually wire in? Four, what do I want to now become? What are the things that I'm trying to operate in? What is the identity transformation I'm trying to make? And being able to piece those together in a smooth system is what a lot of people are really missing with mental training. And that's why I believe that the systems approach is the key. Now, three, structure first is the biggest thing that I'm seeing that really is causing a lot of problems. What does structure mean? Well, if you think about a house, you have the foundation and the strong foundation of the house. That's what you need, right? And if you have a weak foundation, if your foundation is sand, for example, it doesn't matter how strong and well-built the actual structure is, the foundation is going to give out. And the issue with most mental training systems and really most mental training concepts that I'm seeing is that you're actually seeing the structure being built first. And they're actually giving you all these kind of core structure pieces, these aspects that 
are going to help your game, but they're not things that you can fall back on. When you get into that game and you feel that stress coming on, these are basically, they're just giving you these concepts that are going to give you to just kind of deal with the problem a little bit here and there. Just kind of manage it. Don't worry about trying to get rid of it. Just manage it. Just manage it. Kind of like similar to taking a drug or a substance in order to kind of suppress pain, but not actually getting to the root of where the issue is. There's a reason why you go to a physiotherapist to actually have them teach you how to deal with and remove the problem. So you strengthen the muscles that are causing the injury to keep occurring. And that's the whole point is that a lot of people are giving you this structure. They're giving you these things to treat the problem. And yeah, it's, it's treating the direct problem. But the thing is, it's going to keep coming back because you don't have a strong foundation. That's why you need to build a foundation first. You have to have the ability, and this is the way that my systems work, is the ability to be able to clear your mind as the foundation. And once you're able to clear the mind, then you can start to step and move through all the processes. But if you're, if you're basically slacking off on the foundation, it doesn't matter how good the techniques are that you use in the games. Yes, they're going to help you, but you're never going to be able to get to the next level because those issues are always going to come back. So to sum up really what we talked about here, the three issues with mental training that I'm seeing in the world right now is that they're focused on the conscious mind only. So they're not digging into the subconscious mind. And the solution is they need to focus on the identity. And that's really what I believe in. That's what I focus on with any of my training systems. Number two, they're concepts versus systems. So you're, people are teaching very basic concepts and little pieces of the puzzle, but they're not focusing on building an entire system and allowing that to operate and cycle through so that you can actually build a foundation and then allow the structure to be built on top and then have the techniques on top of it. You need the foundation first. So I hope this makes sense. Leave a comment if something wasn't clear because I'll be happy to explain it or go into detail in another video. I want to make sure that I'm answering these questions for you guys. So I'm offering genuine advice that's going to help you to actually take your performance to the next level, but not just performance, but take your enjoyment of the game. So hockey is fun for you guys so that you're playing the way you want and you're enjoying the game the way you want. So thanks for watching and I hope this video helped out. I'll see you in the next one.